It's easy to understand the attraction of Lake Arrowhead. Pristine beauty, a place where you can enjoy the four seasons. Beautiful day, Indian summer. Craig and Jane Rubinek have been coming up to the lake from San Diego for the past two years. Their poodle teacup wouldn't miss the trip for the world. And neither would thousands of other tourists who make a regular pilgrimage into the San Bernardino Mountains each year. Lake Arrowhead's permanent population of around 8,000 quadruples during the summer and on weekends. San Diego and Los Angeles are just two hours away. Not that the lake resort is the new kid on the block. Southern Californians have been trekking up the mountains since the 20s. That's when the name of the man-made reservoir was changed from Little Bear Lake to Lake Arrowhead. And soon after, Hollywood began to take advantage of the ready-made scenery in its own backyard. This home was seen in the Rock Hudson Jane Wyman tearjerker, Magnificent Obsession. A number of stars fell in love with the place and found the lake a perfect spot to escape adoring fans. Oh, the Buster Crab, Dandurie, the Lockharts. And June grew up up here. Roland Poland, a Lake Arrowhead resident since the 30s, remembers driving Howard Hughes around. They'd take Poland's car so oh, yeah, Hughes could up. move about without attracting no, attention. The lake remains a popular resort for celebrities. Who else but Liberace would own a boat like this? Or a mountain hideaway like this? Not just anyone can bring their boat to Lake Arrowhead. They have to live in the Arrowhead woods, or be an invited guest, or have friends in the right places. The lake is privately owned, collectively, by the property owners. That keeps the traffic down on the water, although summers can be pretty crazy. To give you some idea, Lake Arrowhead has the first high-rise boat storage facility in the world. So far, it's the only high-rise structure in town. There's hardly a soul left. They've all packed up and they're putting their boats away and closing their holiday homes for the, for the winter. But they will be back on a more casual and you know, a shorter period basis. Fall is a favorite time for tourists who want to see Lake Arrowhead minus most of the hustle and bustle. Dorothy Longren of El Cajon has been a fan of the lake for 20 years. She was taking a few days to introduce her grandson to its beauty. The crowds aren't heavy now and the weather is beautiful. You can still find what you came here for 20 years ago then? I think so. Mm -hmm. But Longren admits yes. she liked the village better when it was just that, a village. There's only one remnant of the original village, the restored pavilion, built in 1922. The rest was raised in a controlled burn in 1980 in order to build a new shopping center. Maybe you remember that song about paving paradise to put up a parking lot? Well, a lot of people think that's exactly what's been done in Lake Arrowhead. Perhaps the main symbol of Arrowhead's most recent growth spurt is the Hilton, which opened in 1982. A luxury hotel with full convention facilities, it's paved the way for more tourists and more congestion. Old timers are still shaking their heads about the new stoplight that went in last month. It's the only one in the Mile High Mountain community. I like the village very much. I love the old village, but to keep up with times, you have to you know, except the newer things, and I really love the village the way it is. I think it's a big improvement. Tourism brings jobs, most of the minimum wage, but they're a magnet nonetheless. It's brought more modernization, you know, to Lake Arrowhead, cable TV, McDonald's, you know, the things that, you, you know, as I was growing up as a kid, we just didn't have. Is that progress? Yeah, it is. There are two more major hotels on the drawing board. Since the lake is surrounded by the San Bernardino National Forest, there's only so much more room for construction. That worries Ranger really Hal Seiden. Uh, I'm really concerned that if we allow people to do now what they want to do, that in the future we won't have this for our, our children, grandchildren, and so forth. And so, but I'm Seiden says it's not too late. There's still plenty of natural beauty left to pass from one generation to another. They went to Bunny Heaven? Oh, be darned. How do you know they're in Bunny Heaven? Did your mama tell you? Yes. So that's how you know.